What's going on, everybody? My name's Slender, and today we're going to check out a program called Skeleton. It is a program that's going to allow you to pin that external Aeternum map right to your game. You can have it in the shape of a circle, like a real mini map, uh, and you can have all the node locations. Uh, one of the craziest things is when you're getting the collectibles or the gatherables in a dungeon, you can actually have the mini map up showing you where every gatherable is. It is awesome. Now, I read the information from the dev of the Eternum app uh, themselves, and he said that this is kind of a gray area uh, in regards to the terms of service. So. He said, he said, use at your own risk and um, I'm going to be doing some digging and I'll try to get an answer for you guys straight from the devs to see if we're going to get banned for this. So again, I'm not putting my stamp of approval on it yet. Hopefully I can real soon. So let's check it out, see how to set it up, what it looks like and how freaking awesome it is. So let's go ahead and get started. This was also a app or a program developed by Dev Leon who made the Eternum map, but he wanted me to stress that this is not part of Eternum map. This is a completely separate thing and use it at your own risk. Let's just imagine you have uh, a YouTube video playing, okay? You've got one single monitor. You're playing a YouTube video. It's one of your favorite YouTubers. Hey, let's put a uh, Slender MMO up on the screen. So you've got your window and then you go to click on your game and the window's gone. Why? Because the game takes priority. Whether you alt tab on the game, whether you uh, click on the game, you know, to do something while you're watching a video, the video moves behind it and the game takes uh, precedence or the game takes priority. Uh, so you can still listen to your video, but you can't watch it unless you have a second monitor or you can watch it on your phone. So what Skeleton allows you to do is you can take that video, okay, that website, and you can make it stay on the screen. Pretty simple, right? You can click on the game, you can play, you can jump around, and the game, the window will still be there. You can resize it, you can change the shape of it, you can put a frame around it, you can move it. Um, you can do all this great stuff while playing your game, and you can have your favorite YouTuber just right there in the corner, you know, or maybe a, a video like a guide, how to do this, how to do that while you're in the game doing it instead of looking over on your second monitor or alt tabbing like, oh, I he's the, he's getting to the part where he shows me how to do it. Now I've got to stop what I'm doing in the game, alt tab, watch what he's doing, then go back in. Not anymore. Now, what does this have to do with Overwolf? <laughs> I'm glad you asked again. Instead of pinning up, you know, YouTube on this app, you can pin the Overwolf minimap, that's right. So you can have your Overwolf minimap, you can just go to the Overwolf website, put that URL in Skeleton, and you can have the minimap on your screen the whole time while it's streaming your player location. And you can essentially have your own minimap with the filters, just like this. Now, one of the coolest parts about this, and I didn't even realize that Leon had built all this into a turn of map is it's got the dungeon maps. So when you're doing a dungeon, you're doing an M1 or an M10, you will be, then be the person responsible for getting all the gatherables because you can see every single one on the mini map. When I first tried this out, I was streaming on Discord. I showed my, uh, my friends in the company and they're like, oh my God, what is that? How do you do that? Well, guys, this is it. Reese, this is for you, man. Now, before I show you guys how to set it up, I want to make a couple very, very uh, important points. Number one, and this is straight from Dev Leon himself. Uh, as far as the terms of service goes, this is definitely a gray area and we don't have exact answers yet. Infringing on the terms of service or it's breaking the terms of service or it's against the TOS because it's no different than taking your phone with the Eternum map and holding it up next to your screen. Only you don't have to use your arm. You could just set it there, you know? It's essentially the same thing as getting a little phone mount and just mounting your phone to the side of your monitor with a website on it. You know, is using this website against the terms of service? No. While you're playing New World, are you not allowed to go to the Eternum map website? No, that would be ridiculous. So why would it be against the terms of service to be on that website while you're playing the game and just have the website 
pin there. I don't think it would be against the terms of service. I don't think this is going to get you in trouble, but it's just not very specific. They don't have this issue lined out or the scenario lined out in the terms of service. So I'm going to post a video on the forums. I'm going to try to get their attention so that I can give you guys your answer. Cause I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me, is this going to get you banned? Is it going to get you banned? Is this against the TOS? Um, I don't know guys. I don't imagine it will be, but it's always better to, to double check and just make sure, you know, cross all your T's and dot all your I's. So now, Let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes, how to set up skeleton and where to get it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and download and then install and set up skeleton. So this, the link for skeleton is going to be in the description and you could also get it from Dev Leon's discord, which is in the description as well. And once you're in his discord, you can just click on FAQ and there's going to be a, a basic guide on setting up the minimap with skeleton. Go ahead and click on that. And this is going to have all the instructions as well as the link for a turn of map and skeleton. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to grab this link. Again, it'll be in the description. We're going to go ahead and pop it in there. And I'm using version 1.11.0 and uh, go ahead and download it. Download Skeleton Win32 X64 Zip. Once that's down downloading, go ahead and open up the file location. Go ahead and extract the files and it will create a new folder called Skeleton Win32 blah blah blah. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Ooh, who's that asshole? All right, and here it is. Go ahead and open up the folder. And I just, uh, I just, I, you're gonna run skeleton.exe and you could just send it to your desktop, create a shortcut, boom. And now it's on our desktop. Once you have skeleton installed, go ahead and run it. Now my skeleton has already been set up so I'm just going to show you guys really quick uh, what it does. And I'm going to show you with a YouTube video. Okay. So we're going to set up a new website. So I'm going to put slender MMO. And there's also other programs out here that do these kinds of things, but I like skeleton because it's got really, really great options in it. So just as an example, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just play a YouTube video. Yep. It's one of my videos. And whenever you go to play the game, it goes away because you know new world takes over now built into uh the youtube you know video player whatever you want to call it you can actually pin this to your screen and now when i'm playing my game i can still watch my videos and that's pretty much what skeleton does but it can do that with any website okay that's what it does and we're going to use skeleton with the Eternum map website, yes. So the Eternum map will be pinned to our screen just like Cleo and the Initiate. So I'm gonna go ahead and close YouTube. I'm gonna set up Skeleton and we're basically gonna do the same thing now, but we're gonna use YouTube. So HTTPS colon slash slash youtube.com slash slender MMO. And now we have YouTube while playing the game. Really, really cool. But again, you could do this with any website. But the cool thing about Skeleton is you can customize this window and we can take the frame off. So it's frameless. Oops, pretty cool. Um, you can change the, uh, the size, you can crop stuff out. So if I just wanted this tiny little window, what I would do is I would crop the top of it. Let me go ahead and show you guys. There we go.
One of the really cool things is you can you can change the opacity so you can make it transparent. So that's how you can use Skeleton. So now we're going to go ahead and actually set up the Eternum map. So I'm just going to shut this down and I'm going to open up my Eternum map. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this ad. Now we're going to set up Eternum map and the mini map. And the purpose of this is so that we can set up our nodes and everything in this big version of the map. And then when we turn on the mini map, it's going to have all the settings from this one. So for example, if I want to put on some nodes, I'm going to go ahead and turn on everything. So there's our player. Now that we have our nodes turned on, um, everything looks good. Your tr position is being tracked. Remember guys, if you have any trouble getting this to work, you can go to Leon Dev's Discord or you can watch my video and I show you guys uh, how to set it up and if it's not working basically you want to just log out and then log back in and it should clear it right up uh, but anyway so now we're going to shut the uh, turn a map off in skeleton and we're going to turn on the mini map and we are done folks that is it all right so let's go ahead and close Actually, we're just going to go ahead and delete both of these, okay? All right, so what you want to do is you want to follow the instructions in his Discord, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. So first things first, we're going to download a Eternum map. We're going to set it up, make sure it's working. We got all that stuff done. This is the Eternum map. This is the Eternum map right here. It's working. It says, welcome back, Slender. Um, everything's green. Position is detected. Uh, we're good to go. So we're just going to minimize that. And now we're going to set up Skeleton. So first things first, I'm just going to pull up his Discord. Uh, you want to add the big map. This is needed so you can change all the settings of the mini map. Toggle markers, routes, change settings. Uh, can also be done in any browser of your choice. So we're going to do a turn of map .gg. We're just going to copy that URL. And it's very important to make sure you have the same format in both the mini map and the Eternum, the big map option. So we're going to give this a name. We're going to call it big map. We're going to put the URL in there and then we're going to go ahead and hit save. And now we're going to test it out. So we're going to turn it on. Does it show the mini? Does it show the map? Yes. Can we walk around and is our position being updated? Yes, it is. Can we change filters? Yes, we can. So we're going to go ahead and turn the big filter, or the, we're going to go ahead and turn the filters back on. Close that. All right, and we can go ahead and close the big map in skeleton. Now we're going to add the second website, which is going to be the mini map. So we're going to click new website. We're going to name it mini map. We're going to go into his discord and I'll put all these, uh, names and stuff in the description as well, guys. So you could either go to the discord or you can just, you know, go to the description. Here's the mini map website, copy it exactly as it appears here or in the description of this video and we're gonna paste it. And when I say make sure that it has the same format as the big map, you wanna make sure, let me go ahead and save it really quick. You wanna make sure it has the HTTPS colon slash slash, just like the big map. If one of them is missing this, then it's probably not gonna work right. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the mini map. And there you go. Now the reason it has this frame around it is because that's how it is set up in skeleton. So I'm going to turn off the frame and I'm also gonna make it so that it's not oblong. So we could do that by making sure the height is the same as the width. 
and there we go. If you want it smaller, just uh, reduce everything, but keep the two numbers the same if you want it to be a perfect circle. Now you guys are really gonna love what it looks like when you're playing, when you're in a dungeon. Um, another really cool thing is you can make it transparent and you can change the opacity. You can move it. You can assign a hotkey, so Shift F1. Pretty cool. And that's it, guys. That is all it takes. It is super, super easy. Now, the issue that I was having, just so that if you guys run into the same issue, you know how to fix it, is when I was bringing up the mini map, it wasn't working, it was blank or it wasn't showing my player location, it wasn't streaming. And that was because it wasn't streaming on the big map. If the big map's not working, the little map's not gonna work. And the problem was I was logged in, but down here it was saying playing as, and it said like unknown, uh, it didn't have my server information and there was no key right here, the key was gone. It was working on my Firefox Fox browser, but it wasn't working here. All I had to do was just log out and log back in and everything was fine. So if you have any issues with that, um, Dev Leon is very, very responsive. He'll get right back to you as soon as he can. Just don't send him like four or five messages within five minutes like some idiot did. Sorry about that, Leon. <laughs> Next day he sent me a message. He's like, dude, calm down stop posting the same thing in four different places you know i'm right here blah 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 i'm like okay my bad i was just making a video sorry and i panicked <laughs> so that is it guys super super easy and very very cool all right so that's it guys what do you think pretty cool right um so i know i said this a million times but i'm going to try to get a hold of amazon we're going to find out if this is against the tos and what they think and hopefully they don't give me a really vague answer i'm going to post this video right on the forums and just ask them look check out the video is this okay or are you guys going to ban people from using this and you know what the way things have been going when i do stuff like this they probably won't give us an answer but if enough of you guys go on there and say hey give us an answer then they'll be forced to just like we did with the luck video just like we did with raffle bones we said enough people got together and said hey we want raffle bones back and boom raffle bones was back so get on the forums i'm going to put a link for this in the description um, so you guys can go there bump it do whatever you want to do and just let them know yeah we want to use this it seems like it falls within the tos can we use this or are we going to get banned because i know a bunch of you guys are going to be asking me in the comments can we use this slender are we going to get banned i don't know i don't know yet um now if you guys have any questions on uh you know how to use this how to get it running because i did run into some trouble but hopefully i covered all the issues that i had in the video um, but you never know if you have any trouble hit me up on my discord uh, you can get all that information right on my website slendermmo.com slender with a number three so thank you for watching, like, and subscribe if you guys got something out of it, and I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.